So for the next one, a six foot man is walking away from a 20 foot tall street light. So this is my guy. Here's my lamp. He's walking that way. He's walking away. If the man is walking at a rate of four feet per second, how fast will the length of a shadow be changing when he is 30 feet from the light? So let's label some stuff. Ultimately, well, let's just go through it. A six foot man. Got it. He's walking away from a 20 foot tall street light. Those two things are not changing, so they don't need to be variables. I'm not going to have a derivative. If the man is walking at a rate of four feet per second. So he's walking that way at four feet per second. So what's changing? The thing that's changing is the change in X over time. This value right here, this side of my triangle, is increasing at a rate of four feet per second. It's increasing because it's getting bigger, so it's going to be positive. How fast will the length of his shadow? So how fast will the length of his shadow? So that means, yeah, pick that. Or in other words, S. How fast will it change? And so our ultimate job here is to find the change in S over time. That's the ultimate goal. Uh, we'll be changing when he's 30 feet from the light. And so 30 feet from the light is x equals 30. When we set up this problem, the thing we have to recognize here is that there are two triangles that are in play. I've got one triangle. I've got this big old triangle here. Oops. I didn't like that. I got this triangle. It's a right triangle. But I've also got a second triangle. I've got this triangle. The blue and the green. Alright, so what you notice there is there are two triangles inside of each other. They share some common measurements. And they have the same setup. And so if you think back to geometry, these two things are called similar triangles. It seems kind of strange, but these problems are actually really easy. It's just weird because there's not a formula that comes to mind when you think of them. What's true about similar triangles is similar triangles is that they're going to have, uh, they're going to be proportional to each other. Or in other words, you're going to be able to set up a ratio to measure some stuff. Okay, for example, the one triangle has a side of six, the other one has a side of twenty, and we're going to use that. So this is my green triangle right here. The this is my blue triangle. This is my bigger green triangle. On the blue triangle, the six, the thing I want to know is S. And so let's put S on bottom. That's the bottom side of this triangle right here. So on the green triangle, that same side is S plus X. It's not only this, but it's also that. Those two things added together. Tell me the bottom. So that's my formula. And before I take a derivative, I'm going to simplify. And so to simplify that, we are going to cross multiply. So 20s equals 6s plus 6x. Just distributed that. Combine like terms, so I'm going to move that over. 14s is equal to 6x. Now that I've got to that point, I'm going to take a derivative. The derivative of 14s is 14ds dt. And the derivative of 6x is 6 dx dt. I only got one thing I can plug in. I know what dx dt is. dx dt is 4. So right there I'm going to plug in the number 4. So my problem becomes this. 14 ds over dt equals 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Divide that thing over. Eh, sorry. So I'm going to say ds dt equals 24 over 14. Change in s is feet per second. Feet per second. It quit working on me, but you get the idea. Not too crazy. Again, the, the problem 
uh, what that whole thing is understanding. Hey, I've got two triangles set on top of each other. That's what I need to solve. Again, hope that helps.